hello everyone welcome to a new tutorial in Maya. my name is veronica and today i'm going to show you how to connect in three different ways a blend shape to a controller so for example i have this sphere here with a blend shape one and i have uh, this stretch and squash blend shapes and i also have this controller with an attribute called squash and a stretch that I want to connect to that blend shape. So my idea is when I move this slider to one, it do stretch, and negative one, it do squash. Uh, this is very common in rigging. We usually do this, for example, in a face. When we go to positive Y, we want a smile. Negative Y, we want a frown or, or sad expression so yeah okay so the first method I'm going to use to connect the blend chip to the controller is the easiest one for me and is set driven key or set, set driven set driver I have no idea how to pronounce that um, so we go to the animation menu key set driven key set driven I guess. So the driver is going to be the controller, the father, and the driven is going to be the blend shape node. So we can select the geo, then the blend shape one, and hit on driven. And make sure that squash and stretch is in zero, and select the blend shape, uh, stretch and squash, and hit key. move to one, positive one and turn on the stretch hit key <coughs> negative one turn a squash and hit key and there you go okay second method I'm going to show you is via connection editor or a uh, more complete version will be via the node editor. Uh, this method is the best, I think, because it's going to give you a excellent performance in your scene. So, for example, if you just have one blend sheet that obviously goes from 0 to 1 and just one attribute that goes from 0 to 1, uh, I mean, not negative values, it's just as easy as going to window, general editors, connection editor and in the left you select the control, in the right you select the blend shape <coughs> okay I have a connection here, let me just break connections Okay, and select the attribute of the controller, then the attribute of the blend shape and that's it, so when you go from 0 to 1 we have a connection but I'm going here to negative one and seems to be doing a squash but it's actually not doing my squash it's doing a negative stretch which is not nice in our kind of bricks obviously so if you want to do it via connection editor but or via direct connection um, you have to go a little further here so break connections I'm going to the window node editor and select the controller ah, okay I have the controller and the blend sheet nice that's all I need and I'm going to create with tap two new nodes uh, one is a clamp okay and the other one is going to be a multiply divide okay uh, the clamp node what it does is to uh, limit the range of the value we are going to connect to the blend chip so I want it to move from 0 to 1 or from 0 to negative 1 but no more than that or less than that so connecting the squash stretch to the input R for the stretch and input G to squash 
let me select this into the attribute editor so for the um, stretch I, I want a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 1 in um, stretch squash sorry I want a minimum value of negative 1 and a maximum value of 0 so I connect the output R which is a stretch into the stretch value of the blend shape but I cannot connect the output J of oh, G sorry of the clamp into the squash because it's going to move to is going to set up the squash to negative one nor to one. It sounds kind of that tricky, but let me just do it for a, for example. Okay. If I go to one, nice, it's working. But if I go to negative one, oops, weird, right? This is because look, we have negative squash. And this is not what I want, I want positive squash. So that's why I created the multiply divide. I'm going to pass the output j to the input 1 and the output x of the multiplied into the squash. And I'm going to multiply negative 1 by negative 1. Uh, in math of high school you know that negative by negative is going to be positive so now I have a squash, a stretch, a squash, a stretch and that's the uh, second method of connecting the blend chips sounds a little bit more much of work than the, for example the set driven key but is way much better for performance so give it a try Okay, the third method I'm going to show you, and the last one, is via expression editor. Um, I don't enjoy or like this method at all, and I actually never use it because I think it's always give you a very slow performance for my taste. I rather prefer to use notes or connection editor, uh, even though using Cetrion key is better for me. But there are people that prefer expression, and I think it's a good knowledge for us to know so it's very easy as well so selecting the controller and the attribute go to expressions and we are going to write a little bit of pseudo scripting here so first we have to write blend shape the name of the blend shape in my case is blend shape one because I'm very very basic dot and the name of the attribute which is stretch stretch uh, equals to clamp open parenthesis and zero comma one comma control the name of the controller in my case is control dot and the name of the attribute of my controller, which is here. We can actually copy here. Okay, then write a semicolon and then copy this same blend shape one, then hit write uh, squash clamp zero comma one comma negative control. Sounds weird, but is is the syntax is right? And there you go. And hit create. Oh. Hmm. Blend shape. I might be writing something wrong. Let me just check. Yep. Now I see. Blend shape in capital S blend sheet one create okay now it says result expression one and if you go to the blend sheet you see a purple connection that means it's connected via the expression editor so if you go to one there you have a stretch negative one you have a squash 